on the beat. MOG and farmer. Hello children. My name is Mrs. Winifred. I'm a teacher of Boston British International School here in Benin City. I'm here to give you an insight on literature. Before we go ahead, I would like you to get your pen and your papers. Sit down and join me as I take you through the journey of literature. Now, we we'll begin with literature is defined as a method of expression. It is also a work of creative imagination that mirrors life and the society. Now, we have functions of literature. One, it helps you to learn about your culture and other people's culture. When you read books about other people's culture, you learn about them and you also learn about your own culture when you read books written about your culture. Two, it teaches us morals. Every work of literature is meant to teach us morals. Three, it gives us insight and understanding as we put ourselves in the conditions of the characters we read about. Four, reading works of literature helps us to improve on our use of English, both speaking and writing. When you read works of literature, you improve on your use of English, both speaking and writing. Now children, I would like to explain to you a text that is being used by Junior Secondary School 2. It is titled, Every Disappointment. It is written by Victor Ogwege Four. Now, some of the cats of the story of the play are Neka, Nonso, Emeka, Afan, Barrister Oyinye, and Uju. As I go through the story, you will hear some of these names being mentioned. Now, this story is about the fact that in every disappointment, there is always a blessing. Neka, the main character of the play, finds Nonso crying along the road of the campus, crying with his bag on his head. She calls out to him and tries to find out why he is crying. He tries to explain, but the more he tries to talk, the more he cries. She bests him, preaches to him, and then he tells her that his uncle has decided not to pay his school fees anymore. She takes him to the school cafeteria, where she sits him down, buys him food, and then she tells him to tell him more about his problem. He opens up to her, he tells her everything, and then she decides to help him. She told him that she will be helping him with his school fees up until he graduates. Nonso became very happy. He went back to his room and shares the good news with his roommate and best friend, Emeka. Later that same evening, they went to the cafeteria to meet Neka. Neka gives Nonso 120,000 naira, which is the amount of money he is owing the school. He thanks her and he goes to pay the money. Then she went back home to her parents. They, cry, they ask her, Neka, why are you back home from school so soon? You just left snow quite long. And she tells them that she met someone in school who needed help and she had to help. She preached to her father and convinced him to help sponsor Nonso to graduate from the university. After her parents left to help him, Nonso proposes to Neka and tells her that he will want her to be his wife. And since she has been so good to him, she wants him to remain his wife. Neka accepted. Now, after five years of graduation from university, Nonso has still not come to ask Neka's hand in marriage, and it bothers her parents. Her father tried to introduce Okoli, the son of KK, to her, but she rejected him utterly, saying that she had made a promise to Nonso, a promise she cannot break. 
Now her parents calls Mosok to find out why he has not come to marry their daughter. And Mosok tells them that the issue of Boko Haram in Kano has stopped him from coming to marry their daughter. Now Neka, unknown to her, that Nonso has decided not to marry again, we began to wonder what is happening. Why is Nonso not speaking her cause? Why is he not calling her? Now she, her cousin Uju pays her a visit, and then she tells her, "This is my problem. I don't understand why he's no longer picking my calls." Uju uses her phone to call Nonso. Nonso picks the call and tells them, tells her to meet him at top of the town hotel. Now, Uju and Ineka both boarded a bike and went to the hotel. When they got there, they met Nonso. Nonso told them that he doesn't want to marry Ineka anymore, that they are not compatible, that he can repay her every single amount of money she spent on him. That she tells him that she doesn't want his money, that what she knows is that she has been faithful to her promise and that God will give her someone who is better than Nonso. She goes home crying. Six months later, she is married to a colonel in the army called Colonel Afa. Now, after her marriage to him, a few years later, she became the first lady of Africa State. Now, while she was in her office, her parents pay her a visit. They talk with her, they smile with her, and they try to remind her of how much she had, how she, she, be, she was a new promise to a friend had rejected so many men. Now, as they were discussing, a note came from her secretary, Keleshi, telling her that a man called Nonso wants to see her. She tells her to allow him to call him. When Nonso came into her office, Nonso went on his knees and he pleaded with Neka and her parents to forgive him, that he is sorry for the way he behaved and for the way he treated Neka. Now, Neka forgave him because she now came to realize that every disappointment is always, there's always a blessing. And then, to show Nonso that she has forgiven him, she wrote a letter to the Attorney General of the state asking him to reinstate Nonso as a lawyer with the Ministry of Justice. Now, children, I hope you learned something from this brief summary on every disappointment. Surely you now know that in every disappointment, there is a blessing. Nika was disappointed by divine also, but God blessed her by giving her on the affirm, who through which she became the first lady of Africa State. Now children, I would like to give you some questions on this play that we have just discussed, and I hope you are able to answer them. And when you do, and you have any questions to ask us, please feel free to ask your questions on our channel. Now, children, I would like you to answer these questions, and you will find the answers to these questions in the novel, in the play, Every Disappointment, by Victor Ugojefo. Now, our first question is, who said, I want to see the hand of God in what is happening to you now, and to whom was it said to? Number two, what is Nonso's full name? Number three, who did Nonso tell, you really impressed me today? Number four, who is Uju to Neka? And number five, who became first lady of Africa State? Now, children, thank you very much for joining us today. See you next time. Bye.